Hello everyone, welcome to RPA. Today, I will explain you about what is RPA and the basic concept of robotics process automation. So why it is important when we are having too much content on YouTube and several different contents on the official portal. Because RPA Hub has come up with different approaches, the marketing strategies, how we are using, depends on the project, use cases, all we are going to cover here and what is the growth and the opportunity which we are getting from different domains in terms of salaries, in terms of project and additionally job as well so if you are new to this channel consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates let's begin with basic concepts of rpa so after this session you will learn about basic of rpa tools why we need rpa Last 5 years growth graph of RPA, top 5 RPA tools globally used in industries and 5 open source RPA tools. The benefits and application of RPA and finally what RPA tools have achieved till now. So first of all, what is RPA? Robotics process automation is the use of software with artificial intelligence and machine learning to perform real life tasks with the help of robot. As we know that RPA has come up with a different approach to perform our activities or continuous activity which we are doing on day to day life is possible to assign that task to robot so that they will work and provide the efficient result according to our requirement. This is totally dependent on what we have assigned, what we have provided with the input and what we are re requesting from servers and robot. RPA having capabilities to handle high volume repetitive tasks that requires human to perform these tasks are queries resolution, HR activity, support services and maintenance of data or records and transactions. RPA creates and deploys software robot with the ability to launch, integrate and operate other softwares. Basically, it is designed primarily for minimizing manual effort and cost. So just like if HR team is doing a recruitment process, that recruitment process will take somewhere around 2-3 to three days. This is repetitive task for every candidate and if organization want to automate these tasks or Organization want to assign this task to the robot, they have to provide the input parameters to robot so that robot can act accordingly and provide the result just like document scanning. Second is scheduling interviews, then directly assigning to the technical person, then whatever is the process of organization to hiring any employees. Why we need RPA in real life? So different businesses, be it is small, medium or large, want to increase service quality or reduce cost but without any change in existing process, this is where robotics process automation helps. RPA is all about training the software robot to do new iterative tasks without changing any system involved. 
it simulates human walk of logging into applications, entering tons of data, sending emails, doing other repetitive tasks. Presumes a situation a robot is sitting in front of a computer observing the task being performed by you. Gets trained for it quickly and implements the same as without any manual intervention from us. Isn't that amazing? Do you understand that why we are getting or why we are considering RPA as a tool and RPA is the future of any technological enhancements. Serving these all, there are different domains which are majorly used or majorly adopted right now. So RPA does not entertain any forms of physical robots. It mimics as a human work by interacting with application in the similar way that a human does. It also allows interpreting existing applications, activating responses, controlling data, and communicating with other digital systems. RPA solutions can be enhanced with machine learning and artificial intelligence that is AI. I have already listed down seven major organization or function which are mostly using nowadays. First is HR. As I have already mentioned in my previous slide, whatever actions or RPA can be used in the new employees joining, formalities, payroll process and save a lot of documentation work done manually. Second is tourism or you can see travel domain. RP can be used for ticket booking, passenger details and accounting and much more data required or you can see that document attachment of the person like the identification card. Third is finance domain. So RP can be used in accounts payable that is one can streamline the intake of vendor invoices with BPM and auto assign invoices to workers based on predefined rules. Then logistics. RPA companies contribute to analytics and artificial intelligence by gathering information about business patterns and internal working to reveal potential, potential disruptions and bottlenecks. These insights can be used to improve the optimizing specific area of the supply chain. Next is insurance domain. So it can be used for premium information, claim processing and clearance. Next is service test. So whatever functionality is doing help desk team or handling a uh, chatbots are handling the person who is sitting background and resolving the query of the customer. So just like call center. So RPA helps to develop chatbots so that the initial problems will be resolved on regular basis so that manual interaction is not required for the end user or customer. This will cut off 50% of attending calls in real life scenario. ID and services. Many of the banking and finance domain are right now using RPA technology to automate their regular activities which will save cost and money. Sorry, cost and resources. So how is the growth of RPA growth and their predictions? So as you can see in the first chart or first graph where major organizations have already adopted and this survey is till 2018. 
so by the way this survey is based on hfs research data where north american organizations have adopted 41% of rpa western europe has already adopted 28% then ema and rest of ema is basically adopted 4% and finally in asian countries 22 percent latin america definitely on 5 percent so total rp market by region is already divided as you can see here so till now approximately 37 percent of organizations already adopted rpa to in their activities as you can see here in the second graph global robotics process automation market this graph shows that from 16 to 2021 productions where rp software has gained the popularity in 2016 as a 73 organization then it moves to the 37 percent of global environment or global organizations it means they have already strands of with different domains and organization to provide actual real life scenario and handle their activities successfully so as you can see here the growth rate is started from 20 to 24 percent then 31 42 and 60 percent around they have predicted year on growth of rpa series Till 21 at 67% of the market RP industry will cover off. So let's move to the RPA tools, which are all RPA tools are available. As of now, in market various RPA tools are available, but I have listed here top five tools and top five RPA open source tool, which is in the market is used by global organizations one is uipath that is developed by the uipath team and they have successfully gained tremendous growth in every country second is automation anywhere third blue prism fourth is pega platform and Fifth is Geno Poster, which is developed by Russian countries, and nowadays it is globally used in Russia and some part of Germany. Then, when we consider over the open source RP tool, is basically it's open for everyone, and which is having feasibility to anyone can change or make any changes in the tool for their improvement and enhancement perspective. Robocop, OpenRPA, TagUI, Robin and Automatica is the five tools which is globally used and accepted by the global organization in the name of RPA tool as an open source. So what benefits you are getting in terms of using RPA tools in your organization or any project specific so definitely it will save your cost in terms of employees one of the important advantages of rp is the quick reduction in the cost it can deliver by automating tasks the cost saving of almost 30 percent can be achieved over the age of productivity software robots also cost less than a full-time employees Second is quality and accuracy. RPA offers enhanced services to process with the high probability of human errors, thereby increasing accuracy. Robots are reliable and consistent and don't complain when expected to work tirelessly. They reduce the cases of rework and enhance quality. The vital part is that robots follow rules exactly thereby producing 100 percent accuracy third is improved customer experience by distributing rpa one can liberate high prices resources 
from additional routine and repetitive tasks and set them back on the bleeding edge by helping customers. Fourth is time saving. Definitely, whenever we are assigning any activity to the robot, it will work on day and night at any point of time. Whenever it is required and scheduled, so definitely it will save our time as well while doing any actions. Better command and control. So, various companies prefer to outsource busy work to external parties. This comes with an inherent risk of human errors, inefficiency, etc. RPA brings forth a better solution and since the work stays in-house, the business keeps up most extreme ownership control and concludes. Fifth is more productivity. So RPA is basically a scalable tool and which we can crush on that with the help of RPA companies can make adjustments based on seasonality and can easily scale up or down operation as needed. This, this have already helped to improve the customer experience and saving the call center cost in the organization as well. So no new tool learning is required as the name suggests no new tool learning is required to access RPA by simply logging into any application and by connecting to system APIs we can simply copy and paste data and move files folders as per our requirement. So whenever there is advantages, this advantage is also definitely attached with any tool. So first this advantage is job losses. Unfortunately, in the interest of full disclosure, it's not all sunshine and roses with the RPU. For instance, and this is probably the biggest downside where the issue of jobless. Granted the automation that RPA brings with it does not result in whole soul elimination of huge number of jobs as predicted in dystopian fiction. However, it can and does result in the loss of some jobs. As a result, executives need to make sure that those skilled laborers can be transitioned into other position or any other work. And the drawbacks is expensive. So, initial monetary outlay necessary for implementation, although RPA is the main to save money in long term, there are undeniably some short term starting expansions should be included with any RPA tool just like licensing cost, then learning and definitely the environment setup as well. Additional skill required on resources. So whatever resources is working on any specific RPA tool that needs to be trained with high quality use cases so that they will implement or make the services liable or scalable for our product. So this is all about RPA, basics of RPA. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's recap. We have started with the basic of RPA, then we have discussed their growth, why we need that and the growth cycle of future growth that is from 2016 to 2021. Then we have discussed about advantages and their disadvantages. This is all about basics of RPA from RPA Hope. Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed this video press thumbs up and consider subscribing from clicking subscribe button and pressing bell icon thank you for watching mm -hmm.